Hello everyone, welcome back to all the Moss Gravitas 2. So, in this episode, uh, I think we want to make the cup open. Because, well, we are running super low on charcoal right now. And oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys. So, in between episodes, I kind of like redesigning this place. So here's gonna be the two... Uh, What's it called? The Bloomery and the Blast Furnace is going to be in the middle. Here's the machine. I routed like here. This is the route. Basically, this one is like underground. I want to break it, but like it's from the underground. And where it's connect to is connect from outside here. So here is it. Yeah. So I connect it underground to that place. And then here's our uh, ingot. Here's the storage. For the drawer this is cobstone this is dirt i'm gonna add more when we have like more variety of dirt this sand same thing this is gravel same thing this is like kind of like this dust thingy like this type of dust thingy so clay clay kaolinite and then graphite and white clay the same things so i'm just putting in there this barrel is for alcohol and coal so it's gonna be charcoal, lignite, bituminous coal, and then some kind of things. This arrow, this two, is for the ore that doesn't have like right variation like this stuff. This stuff we, I don't think we're gonna put in arrow at all because they have like three different forms. So it's gonna take so much space. Between also, I also like a lot of copper, but I. Don't have time to smell them yet also a lot of iron but because we don't have charcoal a lot of charcoal so i can't really process any of this iron and yeah this is like the chest area and then the other side also the chest area this is the like all the machines and stuff this is for smooth stone this is for slab and stair and wall this is for brick what is it this is mortar this is like some random stuff that I don't know where to put this is for like wood stuff and yeah this is like random stuff as well but yeah so I'm just organizing things and taking things like together also put a bunch of pearl here but there's no use for them yet organizing this stuff as well and I clear out the outside here, make a pathway, <clears throat> way to go to this side, same thing, I put in fences and shale brick, so it looks like cleaner. And we have a bunch of locks, like bundle over here, like all the lock pile, right lying around here. I don't know when, like where to put them, so just stay here, but... Yeah, today we're gonna try and make a open and then I'm gonna make a saw, like a tree farm. Because we need a lot of like, blocks, right, to put in the cup open so they can turn into, like here, they can turn into charcoal. And to get a lot of blocks, they, we can make a tree farm from create. And I think there's one thing I forgot. Yeah, this thing. We need glue tube, we need mechanical bearing, we need a bunch of mechanical saw. So I think I'm gonna make five of these. Yeah, we can do this. Okay, so let I think let's let's start the uh, process. So I think I put my yeah, iron hot iron plate over here. And then we need a bunch of thickness zinc casing because this thing need one for each so we need two more and to make that we just oh they changed the recipe back then you can put um you can just put that recipe together in the crafting table now you have to put it down okay so let's go outside get the two more locks right So just right click them, throw in there, that is the 5, 
we need five iron, cast iron, which we can melt from this tap stuff down. So this should be five. Yeah, this should be five cast iron. So, um, let me think. Yeah, I can use it here. Like for processing a lot of um, metals, I made this contra contraption where you can see here. Like this only works for terra firma crap or the great tech one. We don't have any way to process them like in a bulk like this here. This is not working for the great tech one. The red tech one, I still have to use the crucible if I want to like turn it down. But for the terraformer crab one, I can use this like this. And this is gonna turn into cast iron. So this is what we're gonna we're gonna use. Uh, yeah. So let's, let me throw them in. We use lignite. This. So throw this in. Right click, shift right click, then bring this. Uh, sometimes it's gonna burn this stuff, so I have to like really careful. This is only for now because later on we're just gonna move everything outside. And here it's just gonna be for like machine like this, not this stuff. And to pump them out, I have a contraption under here, like. It's gonna take the walk, the liquid out, and then it's pumped into the spout. Okay, there we go. Um, so you can use ingot mold or fire ingot mold, but the thing with ingot mold is that when you put it in there and the liquid pump in it, like pour into it, it's still hot, and you have to cool it down, right? But for fire ingot mold. You can just pull it out right away because this doesn't have any temperature. But the downside of the fire ingot mode is that you cannot put a bunch of them in. You can only put one. Yeah. So you can put one in at a time, but you cannot put two. Let's say I have oh I have two. It's not working. You see that? Yeah. Let's put one in. Let's keep doing this. That is five cast iron, I think. Yep. I think this one is like hot right now. No, not. So we have the broad iron plate. We have this thing. We have that, and we next we need this thing. So a slab. Oh. Where is the slab? There you go. Just need one slab, and then. One shaft. Need one more locks for the casing. Go and right click. Pick it up. So to make this stuff, we need to make one of these first, right? And then we make five of these. Oh, we we run through this rock iron plate like so fast. That's why I want to make a bunch of charcoal and then run this stuff. I think I'll make um, two more of this in between episodes because this thing takes 15 minutes to run and it's gonna take forever for us to build all this rot iron up, all this hematite and turn them into rot iron. So we have these two stuff already, so that is the main thing. The next thing is the glue. Wow, we, we have exactly left one rod iron plate. Okay, that is lucky. So glue is um, bone meal in lamb water. Okay, bone meal is easy. Bone meal we can make by. Let me see. Let me think. I think yeah, you can just put with a mortar and a bone, or you can use a milling. It's also turning to bone. See, yeah, you can do that. 
I'll take up one more now. We don't need a lot, just need one. And put in uh, this construction here. This is uh, the, the hopper. Oh, what the? I get six out of that. <laughs> Interesting. So, to make the hopper, it's actually pretty cheap, actually. So, here's the hopper. You can use steel plate and you get two, but if you use rod iron plate, you get only one. So, I use rod iron plate and yeah, I got one hopper. So, this is look like cleaner and looks pretty cool, right? Like, it looks cleaner. So, that is the bone meal done. Now, I put them into lamb water. So I'll just put it outside here. Uh, where is the lamb water? Oh, there's a bunch of water here. Here we go. I'll put it here. I'll make six of them. And while waiting for that, we can... Um, let me see. I think... Do I want to put this over here? It's okay. I'll just put it here. And we can... Let's sort it out later. Uh, so that is the glue done. We have the plate already. And then we need the rod iron nugget. So I think... I don't know if this like recipe works or not. Because this is normal Minecraft variable. And we have... Like this is... Terraformer craft. No, no gravel. So, I don't know if they're gonna work or not, but there's another way, which is the alloy smelter. We can turn either cast iron ingot into one rod iron ingot nugget, or a rod iron ingot into nine. So, I guess we can use... Yeah, we can use this recipe. And to make a low-pressure steam alloy smelter, we need a lot of bronze. Okay. I see. Um, where's my brick? Oh, we have extra exactly three brick. So that is the brick done. We need a lot of bronze plate. Don't have any bronze there. Um, okay, let me see how many bronze do we have here. This hopefully this is now. This is small one, so it's actually pretty cheap. We need two crucible. Which we can do right now. So we make one and two. I think I have to make more fire clay because I don't know if this is enough to make the whole cup open. But we'll see, we'll see. So we can put it here. And lit night. Then put them here. This one is enough. There we go. And by the way, you can look up in the sky while raining, so you can it will fill your water bar. Yeah, see that? So we will fire this up, and it turn into crucible, and we can make this thing. And I also need to turn all of this into. The plate. So, oh, how many is this gonna turn into? Nine, right? Oh, I don't think this is enough. No, eight, eight. Yeah, it's only turning into eight. I think we need more. So, okay, yeah, I'll, well, I'm gonna craft a bunch of them, like all the items that we need and then I'll be back. Okay, I think this is enough for the uh, steam alloy melter. So, oh, I need the hammer. There we go. So, this is the main block. That's one thing done. We have the crucible. We need this thing. We need the, the range. It's gonna be near. So this is going to be six of them. Oh, we have a lot more. Oh yeah, right. 
because the uh, this thing always make even the plate so and yeah we have the steam alloy smelter and to make this we need an empty mold oh we can't do this we need steel oh that's a bummer uh okay so is there any way to make this uh, so we can't hmm Miss the still one. Okay, this is kind of tough, kind of tough actually. Hmm. So, okay, I'll I'll think about it a bit, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I found a solution, but this is only a theory. So. When you click on this and you click on rod iron ingot, there's a bow blasting, right? So in here it said that if you can do the create thingy with the like a bunch of this armor, then it can be turned into rod iron nugget. So when you press U on this chainmail helmet, you see the recipe here. So hopefully this actually works and we don't have to do the steel thing. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, thank god, it works. Okay. Oof. Okay. Like I was even trying the line light near chassis and things like that, like that. And it doesn't even work because we can't have any way to like stick the mechanical saw in onto this like block. So yeah, it works now. So oh uh, where is the let me connect this thing in. I, just, I have to break it down because there's no way for me to test it without like, having a, a water wheel. So it works, which means which mean that we can build the uh, tree farm now. To build the tree farm, I can, I've can i already flattened out this whole area. And in this hole right here, there's water where is it yeah here so we'll use this water to run the water wheel in the water wheel with me okay. i'll build and design the water wheel and that the contraption and then i'll be right back all right so i just finished like the design for this thing and you can see oh my god so cloud so like compact in here so here's like the water like there's a cave down there and then the water is like here over here so i just dig a tunnel like a line over there so it will be like running water and then i put two large water wheel connect to a large cock wheel in case into like i just in case using the uh ignis encasing but this is a large cock wheel into a small one into a large one into this small one and this is a gearbox that upward which like it, yeah it turned into this one so here is gonna be where the machines go although i think this is where the machine is gonna be so here's gonna be where the mechanical bearing yeah and then we just have to uh let me see well yeah, I will clean this area on my wheel like cover it up like this so we can have dirt on top like this and here should be the chassis we need more chassis I have to go and make one more, make some more. I'll be right back. This is tough, and like, I needs the igniting alloy, and it takes forever to burn this stuff out. Okay, I just finished making the chassis. This is the main block, right? So it's gonna be here. Uh, five out in here. So, in theory, when we right click this thing, 
yeah it should work like this and when we stop it working right like that should stop working mm. should i make it smaller i feel like it's a bit too big this is enough right this is like five yeah this is enough so Can I make this one like one block on like higher? Yeah, yeah. I think I'll make this one one block higher so that we can like we can go in here easier, easier and right check it easier. So the mechanical bearing is gonna be here, and then one, two, three. No. Nope. Oh, come on. Five. So this should be how it looks. Yep. And here's the moment of truth. Uh, we need to make the glue tooth. Like, I think, is that called? Yeah, glue tooth. Uh, where's the rod key go? So we can make the glue tooth now. There we go. Wow, a bunch of quest tests finish. Okay, yeah, Bluetooth. We get slam ball from this quest, huh? We get level from this. Okay. But we don't need slam ball anymore. So we have the glue tube now. So this should mean that I need to put a torch down. So you guys can see how, what is going on. You can put it like this and what is the rotation? It's gonna be like this, right? So we have to put it over here. We can put it like this. And when we click like that, yeah. So now this should be a tree farm. And all we have to do is just planting tree down. Of course, there's gonna be one more thing we need to do, but for now, this is like the most we can do. Because the rest it needs gonna be like this. Uh, where is it? The deployer. Yeah, we need this, and I don't have polished rose quad yet. So for now, I'm just gonna just plant the tree like by myself, like by hand. And like tree in this mod pack is gonna take forever to grow. So yeah, I'm just gonna plant the tree by hand, and then we are gonna care about the rest later i need chests on top of it so come on Here you go and i will put a bunch of chests on that watch down first okay Okay, and then chest. Oh, really? Chest on top. There we go. So it will input the items, like all the things that it has. We will put it here. So this should be it. This is pretty much how the farm, the tree farm is gonna be. I will make the deployer like this stuff, so it will automatically plant the sapling was later when we found redstone because i haven't found redstone yet but yeah that is, should be how it works and we just need the sapling over there uh i'm gonna put maple let me see sycamore pine maple chestnut dog glass i don't know if those like if this stuff actually like vendable here i can i can try here So we can put it down here. Okay, six day, one month. Okay, that is not ideal. Uh, how about this six day? Okay, so this six day is gonna be what we're gonna use for. Uh, 
only four. So four there. Four there. Okay, so I'm gonna plant a bunch of maple and dirt glass. And yeah, I'll be right back. The cap hawk. This thing. It's like we have a bunch over here. So I can just go and do it by myself, but this stuff is kind of annoying to go all the way back here to mine. So I'm going to make a farm over here. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to plant a bunch of trees and I'll be back. Okay, I'm done cleaning out my inventory. So, here's the thing. The reason why we make this tree farm or like basically a simple early tree farm like this because we need a bunch of charcoal, right? For processing all this iron into wrought iron. But the thing is, if we just do the normal way where we put it underground and then like light it up and just wait, it's just gonna take forever and it's really annoying to make so the other way to make charcoal is to through like the coke oven this way it's i think it's slightly faster i, I think it's like 50 percent faster but the main thing is that it will also give us creosote oil so let me click on this and yeah here's the thing here's the creosote oil and it gives us charcoal it only takes 45 seconds it gives us charcoal and 250 millibucket of creosote oil or creosote and we can use this to make uh i think yeah treat the lumber and this thing can basically this thing is just the same as the b1 but it's just that we have double the reflect like, both way to use it and also later on we can use it to use like lubricant and yes a bunch of other stuff and straw to do something else we can also make torch out of this but the main thing is that it will make charcoal a bit faster than uh really underground and waiting and also it's a hundred percent from one to one while doing if you do this it's not a hundred percent you like you put 16 down but you only get like half of it down half of it from the 16 so it's more efficient so that's what we're gonna make today so let me see uh, ah here you go yeah so here's the multi-block thingy and is there any way for me to see i see i see yeah so we need a total of one of this and 26 and uh, 25 of the cup open brick and this thing need four so it should be 29 so we make 30 of this because this only make two so we can so we have to make 30 30 and we only need 29 30 of this and then we have five so 15 times five how many is that like 75 yeah 75 of this thing and this stuff like from here Okay, brick oven. Okay, there's a lot of crafting. I'll prepare and we'll start crafting with this. Alright, so I have a bunch of blocks with me now. So the recipe should be like this. So this is how. Oh, okay, let me clear this thing first. This is one, two. Oh, how many do we need? We need 75 of this stuff. And that means that 25 of this. Okay. Let's make 18. And 5. Okay, that's enough. 
and we need a bunch of sand. We have a bunch of red sand, of Arctic red sand. And then we need a bunch of fire clay. Hopefully this is enough. Don't know. But we need to make this thing as well. Uh, it's my knife. Here you go. Put it in here. Put this thing in here, and we need. Oh. It doesn't stack. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> it's in stack. Um. Okay. Let me get the knife out first. Get back in here. Okay. Put this back here so we have inventory. Why does it stack really? Okay. Let's do it fast then. So we do this. Okay, bunch of stuff. Still not enough space. Okay. So let's run all this and I'll be back. So yeah, we have exactly 75 uh, compressed coke clay. And now we just need to, I think, burn them up. Yep. So heat them up and then we can make it, yeah, using mortar, we can make coke oven brick. So let's clean the inventory a bit. Wow, we, we have barely enough. We have like 31 left. Time to burn this all up. Use ignite. Put it in here. Light this on fire, and I'll be back when this finish. All right. So we have. Okay, so we melt all of them. Like I guess cook all of them up, and now we it turn into copper brick. And use mortars to turn them into a cup oven. So this should be 30 of them, yep, that is 30, we need 4 of them, we use 4 for the, 4 of them for the, oh my god, that's a lot of rock iron plate, I don't think I have enough iron, okay, yep, mm. alright, let me see, let me think, should I just make, Another batch, or okay. I think there's still a bit of um, rock iron in some of the village. I'll go around, to see in the village, and see if like there's any left. And if we can't find any, I think I have to use to use the normal way to burn charcoal down and. Get the iron going because we have like 13. It's enough for one, like for one eight ingot, like eight of these. It's not enough to like make a bunch of them. So yeah, I'll go around to the village and see if they they have any like iron, broad iron, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and well, I found eight. I don't know if eight is enough. I think it's four, right? Oh, so we barely enough. We have like two left over. So I found it in like literally, I literally go everywhere and find in all the village. I, I clear everything. So now like if we run out iron one again, once again, then well, we have to actually run them in bloomery. Because there's nothing, like there's no free place to get iron anymore. I clear out this one. 
this one, this one, this one, this one over here, this one over here, this one over here, and the, the base, the O one we already cleared out. And yeah, like, literally there's no way we can go and get free iron anymore. So, well, hopefully things go right. That's two. That's four, yeah, that's enough. So to make that, we need a range. Here's the range. And there we go. The main component of this. So I'm probably just gonna put this thing over here. Like right over here. Because it's closer to like the, uh, the tree farm. I'm just gonna put it uh, probably here, I think. And the structure is gonna be like this. Um, yeah, here, and then all in the middle, like this, and do that. Yep, there we go. So if you click on it and it has the interface, then that means it works. So now we should be able to like how to throw in here the rest leftover. We should be able to put just any type of blocks in and uh, we have exactly the amount back in charcoal. So yep, there we go. So yeah. Now we have we're gonna have like a plenty of this stuff. And we don't really need to like care about chopping too much uh tree downs to just get a little charcoal back so those are done so i don't need any of these anymore one thing i want to check is the it has this thing allows automation access for the cup open wooden barrel Green barrel, it's oh my god, rot iron, it rot iron rot again, and then mallet plank is easy, sticky resin is oh, okay, I can't make this. Okay, okay yeah, so I can't make this thing. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna let it run and then we just came back and collect and then. We keep the cycle. Hey, okay. so that is like the main things done. I want to go and check my mine or like my steam miner. How is this thing? Oh, it's done. Oh, okay. Ah, there's lapis around here. Lapis lazuli around here. So this doesn't have any iron anymore. Uh, it's done, right? So I'm just gonna pick it up. Oh my god! Look at how deep that hole is. So because I mean that there's a lapis around here, meaning or it should be over here or over here. Because when I mine this side over here, there's no lapis lazuli, so it should be over there. Okay. I'll go back a bit, clear my inventory and. We will put another steam miners down. Like this stuff is just so good, man. It gives us so much resource. Like, now the problem is not even lacking in resource. It's literally like, how do we even process all of this stuff? Because like there are so many. So how do you put? Yeah. Oh, it's the same as diamond. Okay. So we need more charcoal. Oh, wow. So yeah, you see how much charcoal do we, we have to use? Like, it's insane how many charcoal we need. So having the cup open is just so good. I might consider making another cup open, but I think I'll just make it in between episode. Is there any way, other way to make this? This is the normal docks. 
yeah, I can't make this because this is just normal locks. It's not um, the terraformer one. You can do this using terraformer one. Charcoal, improve cup oven. We cannot make it. There's no recipe for this thing. So I guess yeah, I guess this is the only way then. Yeah, so this is the only way. So I guess we just make a bunch of uh, cup oven, and then just let it run like crazy. Okay, so we can go back there. Set up around the mine as another steam miner. I think this time I'm gonna put it up this side. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This spot over here is gonna be the steam miner. And two chests. And then thing. Um, the snow is going to be annoying because it, it blocks the, uh, this side. Like you see the, the grid thingy, this is like the, when the machine working, it will put out steam and it needs some open space so that the steam can go out, right? But the snow will cover this and it will stop working. I guess I'm just going to make a, a kind of like this, like the, this, on top of it so it doesn't just get snow cover so let me go over here i think there's a water source over here right here hopefully there's something we can use so it's like fully over in it's my doubt there we go seven bucket then we go back and then we put water in Where is it? Over here. Yeah, see, see, it's already covered. And we need to be fast. Yeah, let's just put two coal in there. I will lock a brick this one and use this to cover this hole here. So we can know that oh yeah, this is a spot that we already use. Okay, I'll be back. Um, getting uh, a slab and we can cover the steam miner. So we get a slab. Any slab is fine. Something to put a slab on top. So we have to be back fast. Oh, it's snow in here, really. Or at least it's not like snowy on the ground. Even though this, the wet, the temperature is like pretty low right now so the mine go back here come on oh, I'm gonna hit snow man I can break this out yep shit this should work really when this thing get up to the temperature it should work and this thing should be in a yeah in a chunk so we can clear these two out and only left this one So yeah, I think this is it for... Oh, this is not good. Hmm, this is not good. It's still not snow even though we are at like QV subtropical. Like, it's pretty high temperature already. Ah, that is not good. Uh, hmm. Okay, I think this is it for the episode. In between episode, I'll kind of like clearing this play out, this place out, decorating it a bit so it doesn't look like ugly, and do a lot of housework. And I think next episode we're gonna try building something. Maybe build this like designing this thing to be like a tree farm with a bunch of logs lying around and divide them into each type or maybe we can hmm wow it's snow on top here too oh my god Ugh. i hate snow man okay yeah 
I think that's it for the episode. Thank you for watching and see you guys next episode. Bye.